Yes. I'm just recovering from a cold, that's why I've got probably a weird voice right now. Northern Terminal. Oh, that's really good. So it's an actual coach. Thought it might be those vans. So we're one of these ones, EasyJet. This looks very nice. Look forward to showing it in the day. We're down here, it's quite a lot of walk. A lot of rooms in here, big place. Oh, feels very quiet. It's cold, It's That's the room from here. And then that's the little lanterns and stuff. Oh, I need to rest. That's the wardrobe. Let's see in the fridge. Also, oh, complimentary drinks. That's included for us. I love glass bottles. Two pin plug here. Oh, it's open. So nice out here. That's the beach, literally right there. So that's the hotel. This is the first morning here. It's about 7.30 a.m. Pool is looking very nice, the swimming pool over there. Oh, finally got a glimpse of the sun. Gonna head over to breakfast. See the breakfast buffet is just straight ahead there, so I need to go through. But how nice does the pool look right now? Oh, there's some outdoor seating. Wow, it looks amazing. Yes. This is the breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna dig into some breakfast now. I need some tea, some hot tea. Oh, that's the outside bit. Just gonna sit on the outside over there. Caramel, lemon, 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 Walking towards the sea. Sounds so nice, the sounds of the waves. So relaxing. So I'm gonna be going on the horse. There's the guy with the horses. Booked half an hour, he said 10 pounds is alright. So I'm, so I'm looking forward to that. Change my clothes, that means something a bit more comfy. You don't want to be in a maxi dress.
This is all the front of the hotel. Get taxis right by the door. I see my throat still hasn't gotten any better. So that's the spa. sauna. I've got a heated pool as well but they've got like a gym class in the pool. Luckily no one's in it. Got the hot coal there. Okay. Glad it doesn't look too busy. Let's see what's down here. These are nice. Little lamps. Around the spa area. Okay. I'm gonna have that now. That's my view, lovely. Nice and quiet out here. Not sure if I've recorded this bit, but that's literally where the food was. And then the beach is just here. It's very close, I thought it was gonna be further. It was busy yesterday because it was Friday. Well, not busy, but busy. As you can see, it's very quiet. Lovely. Doing some archery. A taxi gonna visit a place called Old Medina. To get to that bit there. a lot going on. So this is where we are and It's the historical side, but the actual like shops and stuff, I'm not really feeling in this area. It is a, it is a fortress, Rabat of Sus. It is created 821. We have 1,200 years old more. Uh, it is created by the first Muslim who come to Tunisia. He stay in Kirwan. The government now away from Sus, 15 kilometers. They create there the uh, uh, capital Islamic oh. and they are fighting the Byzantine who come uh, from uh, the place and to defend he decided the prince to create this fortress and also it is uh, before this fortress Islamic there is another one but it is destroyed between fight Roman and Byzantine but the Arabic use who was found here like the colon a corner so it was eight dinner for entry so not expensive, that's really decent price. It's got the information here. It's part of their history, a fort. Oh look, there's some Arabic writing. Go upstairs, see what's up there. Get a view of the city. Four wards. There. It's the entrance there, a gate.
to go inside. It's narrow as well. Oh, it's very narrow. Hopefully no one's coming down. Hit my head again. Keep your head low if you're coming on this. Okay. Got a view. Nice view. At least it's got banners that it feels secure. Oh, there's all the sea. So you get all the view of the city from here. Oh look, good view of the fort from here. That's amazing. Got the ships there, cargo. I think that's the mosque there, so we'll check that out next. Yeah, it's very nice. Nice roasted almonds. Try peanuts. No, no, it's different. Oh, different. Yeah, this is badam. This is peanuts. Mm. How much a little bit? That's it. Okay. That's, that's it. This 200 grams, this 10 dinars. 10 dinars? Yeah. Half. Half. I got the roasted peanuts, they're actually really nice. I don't know how much it was in grams, but it was 5 dinars. To this area now, it was on the way, so there's a KFC here. It's just nice to try KFCs abroad. Comfort food, you know? Definitely know it will do the job. Hopefully it's nice. Usually all the fast foods I've had from abroad are usually nice, the same or better. That's what their prices are like. I'm gonna get hot shots because they don't do popcorn chicken and a Zynga burger meal. So yeah, that's what the KFC here looks like. We've got upstairs as well. Colored lights. It's quite cold though. See the lanterns down there. Breakfast time. Got some pastry, pancake, eggs, coffee, and a juice. But this juice looks very bitty. I'm sure that makes it more healthy. So that's breakfast. So nice, just relaxing on the hammocks. And then you go through this way and that's where the treatments and stuff are done down there. So they provide you with a dressing gown and a towel. I brought my own flip flops. They've got a locker so you get a locker key. That looks so good. You can see clouds just down there in the far distance. And then there's a boat. Last morning here, so just having breakfast. So nice. The sun's actually out today, like in the morning time. Got my tea.
please, if you need any help or any assistance, please. Thank you. Thank you. At the airport now. This is what it looks like. It was about a half an hour drive from the hotel. So this is the check-in area here. There's halva, pistachio one, almond. So I guess that would be something if you want to take it back home. They've got some dates as well. This is the kind of cafe that they have here. Pistachio one, halva, and then hazelnut chocolate, almond chocolate. Came up to seventeen pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's up there. 